there will come a time where you'll have to pray for yourself. Amen. Oh, you hear me? Amen. There will come a time where you'll have to pray for yourself. The time that I'm talking about, everyone will be focusing on their own issues. I'm sure you're hearing that. So for you to pray, you learn now to pray. The time is coming, let me say that again, where you'll have to pray for yourself. You won't have that chance of taking your phone and say, I'm calling your pastor. It won't be there. So you start now. So I see when I'm praying, we're praying. People are praying. I see people are praying with their hands. Someone is looking at me with an eye that is here. You don't, you don't do me a favor. Or you don't do a pastor a favor when you pray. This is your life. This is between you and God. Are you hearing me? This is what... Between you and your God, you are building up a relationship between you and Him. You don't pray, you know, to make other people happy. You don't pray to show other people that you can pray. No. That's what the Word of God says. When you pray, go and lock yourself where no one will see you in secret. You know, I, I don't know where this thing is coming from of praying in public, like the way people are doing it. You know, before people pray, everyone must know you're going to pray. I don't know where it's coming from, because I've never read about it in the Bible. The Bible says when you pray, do what? Huh? Do what? Lock yourself where? In the room. Not so? Where no one will see you in the secret place where there's you and God only you'll be two like this face to face so tell your neighbor say neighbor when you do things don't do them to show other people because you will not benefit anything don't do anything tell your neighbor don't do anything to please, to please someone, whether he's a pastor or not. Oh, you hear me? From now on, you need to learn these things. That when you pray, don't pray because you are pleasing someone. Don't pray because you want other people to see you pray. No. Go and hide someone. You know what will happen? When you hide yourself somewhere, when you come to the public, we will notice you. I'm telling you. I always say this thing to people. Now someone who's prayerful, I know them. You know, you need to know that when you're a child of God, when you become too prayerful, you also become too spiritual. You understand? So now there's no way that our spirits cannot notice each other. It's not possible. I'm really telling you. It's as good as you're a witch. You know? If a witch can enter there, a witch can tell you weak Christians and the powerful ones amongst you. I'm telling you. They can tell you. So now, even you, if you pray a lot, God will do something. When you meet another person who's prayerful, you will know that person. Because a prayerful person doesn't walk alone. No. Can you see? Can you see? You see what is happening? has to be something. You know, me, I went to God, I prayed, I said, God, if 
I have seen everything when I was growing up. I was born in the church. I was telling God that at that time when I was praying. I, said, I was born in the church. I've seen everything. I've seen people casting out demons. I've seen them from a very small age. But I always said to God, if you want to use me, let it be different. Let it be different. You know, because I believe in a supernatural power. If someone can see from here to here, why can God give others a grace to see from here to the television? Hmm? Because he said, I love Jacob, I hate his sin. It's, it's still the decision of God. Oh, you hear me? So, but you people, from now on, do things for yourself. I'm telling you, when I do things, I do them for myself. You will never see me when I'm going to pray. I invite anyone. And, or I'm going to pray, I take my phone and show you. No, I believe that when I come out of that prayer place, Hmm? When I come out of there, you will know. I remember one time I came here. I think it was for the first time. I went there to pray there. Spend the whole day there. Pray. So when I came back, there were ladies that were this side. I don't know what happened. There was a brother there that was with those ladies there. The minute I opened the gate like this, and they don't know where I was coming from. The minute I opened the gate like this, I just saw another one jumping, going up. It's like I could extend my hand so that she must not hit on the floor. The way she hit on the ground. You know, maybe God was trying to show me that you went there empty. But now, you are no longer empty. <laughs> <laughs>